All right, today I'm up here at Choice Barbecue. I'm going to try their chitlins. We're going to see what their chitlins taste like here at Choice Barbecue. And, and I know it's a lot of folks out there that don't like these chitlins, but I'm not one of them. Let me go ahead and get the, the plate, the chitlin plate, macaroni and cheese, and the collard greens. Oh, actually, let me get the white rice and the uh, collard greens on bread. And then let me get an extra side of your uh, mac and cheese. All right, here go the chitlins here from uh, Choice Barbecue. I know a lot of people claim that they don't like chitlins, that they don't eat chitlins, whatever. They nasty, all that kind of stuff. Hey, but if you ask me, you shouldn't pass on them doggone chitlins. That's all I got to say. All right, so we got the chitlins, we got the collard greens, we got the rice, and we also have the cornbread. And I also got a side order of mac and cheese. Let's see what these chitlins taste like. Okay. I'm gonna have to say, these chitlins are pretty good. Now, one thing about chitlins, you can't eat chitlins from everybody. All right, the person who you thought was eating them chitlins from, they gotta know how to clean them, and they, know how to, and they need to know how to cook them. So I wouldn't recommend eating chitlins from everybody. But these chitlins are actually pretty good. Now, let's see what these doggone chitlins taste like. With a little hot sauce. Let's put a little hot sauce on these dogs on chitlins. I'm just gonna put them on um, a little portion of my chitlins because I'm not a big hot sauce fan. But for a lot of people, you can't have chitlins without hot sauce. All right, so let's see what these chitlins taste like with the hot sauce. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, these chitlins on fire with this dog on hot sauce. All right, let's go ahead and just try these uh, collard greens. Nothing special about the collard greens. Oh, there ain't nothing special about this cornbread. It's dry. I feel like I'm eating a desert. This is some dry cornbread. Do not get that cornbread. It's dry. It's not moist. I feel like I'm eating the Sahara Desert. Uh, let's go ahead and try this macaroni and cheese. See what we working with with the macaroni and cheese. <coughs> and one thing I noticed already is that this macaroni and cheese is not baked. Those of you who remember how grandma make it down south, but it's not that baked macaroni and cheese with that sharp cheddar cheese. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <coughs> or them three uh, different cheese or max macaroni cheese made with the three different cheese and it's baked and it's baked with love y'all know what i'm talking about this ain't it so i give them props for the chitlins uh the collard greens is okay <clears throat> the uh the cornbread <clears throat> is like i was eating sand from the sahara desert that's trash macaroni, macaroni and cheese is not that baked with the cheese and oven type macaroni and cheese but it's okay so with that, I give this chitlins meal a overall seven. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to take that from a seven to a six. So I give it a six because the chitlins are okay. Chitlins is, 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 is pretty good. Well, they're real good actually. The greens is okay, and of course that's rice. How do you rate rice? If you mess up on rice, then you just, it's, hey, that's on you. Macaroni and cheese is not that baked macaroni and cheese with the sharp cheddar cheese or the cheddar cheese or the three different type of cheeses. The cornbread <clears throat> is dry as hell. It's like eating sand uh, at the Sahara Desert. So with that, I have to give this meal here overall a six. And with that, this is Stoof, your food delivery junkie. I'm out. So all I want is just to get paid. No, I ain't ashamed. I'm trying to make a wage now. Money, money, money.
romanticizing, working nine to five and stifling our dreams. The time we think about the future, yeah. But what if I don't even make it there? I don't wanna be worrying about that. But that's been where my mind. Cause now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a telephone my bus pass too.